Hello guys, how are you? This is a full video build of the 1-200 scale French frigate Dacheron. Um, I believe you guys know this ship from the movie Master and Commander where HMS Surprise and the Acheron uh, went on a battle, um, on several battles at least, uh, strategic ones and the Napoleonic Wars. So Zvezda has this kit, um, I believe it's a Heller, I found out that in the hardest way, however um, the ship was very beautiful. and. Yes, it was a lot of hard work, but uh, at the end, I believe it paid off. It brings um, these vac form sails, and this hull to have uh, hull is very well detailed. Um, as you can see here, all the indentations, all the details of a copper plated hull are on the kit, are displayed on the kit. So this was a very pleasant build despite, despite the fact that it took me almost two to three months to, um, to do it. And here we start on the same way as the other builds, um, cutting the pieces and removing excess styrene. Um, one of the things that I found out on this kit is that it has a lot, and I mean a lot, of styrene, of uh, flash to, uh, to clean. However, it's not uh, something that with a bit of goodwill and work you cannot do it. Um, the kit turned out to fit very well, uh, despite all the the facts that being an old kit and um, and all the flash. And uh, we're starting on the sails with aged white and uh, a bit of um, <coughs> Vallejo pale stone uh, or pale white or pale stone, as you can see. Um, it's a bit of a 50-50 mix. Uh, as you can, as you know, sails are not always white, pure white. They are dirty. Sometimes they are eaten. Their color is eaten by the sun, is faded by the sun, uh, and a bit of black just in between spaces to give it a bit of appreciating. You'll see at the end of the video that I did use uh, the sails opened to the wind. Uh, I thought I should not put this part on the video, but it is part of the painting process and all the hard work I had. So, for you guys who want to uh, at least paint your sails, 
Uh, I am no expert, never been, never will be. But here is um, all the work I had with the sales and all the process, the painting process I uh, went through. As you can see on each layer of paint, uh, the sails are taking a shape and it's a faded color, white-ish color, let's call it a faded white, a dirty one. Um, well, I just took a bit of effort just to recreate that um, dirty white uh, of the sail of the ship. Although at the end, as I said, before uh, I didn't even use these uh, sails. Here I am giving a light coat of um, tan, uh, deck tan color. Um, this deck is very, very well uh, detailed. Even the planks, uh, the wood planks are very, very well detailed. So, all that I did was to play, paint it with deck tan, then give it um, a wash, and uh, with some uh, oils, try to fade it and make it old. As you can see, I am also painting some pieces on the sprue. It is even better if you do it. Um, some, I used the same color, on, like this here, this white as a primer, um, despite the fact that it, they, they were black 
and only white on the inside. Um, however, there is exists that paint on the cup and instead of uh, taking it out, I use it as a, a primer. And uh, my advice is on this one, always paint some pieces on the sprue and then just try to make it better when you cut the pieces that little styrene mark just with a brush just dip it a bit and clean it And uh, here is the wash, uh, it's an AK wash, enamel wash. After you give it a bit of um, deck tan and a bit of highlight over the deck tan, just protect it with an X22 coat or clear coat at your choice and just brush it along. Uh, this deck is uh, very well detailed, I said it before. And because of that, uh, the wash just went very very well on it uh, you leave it to dry for 30 to 40 minutes and then you just use a napkin paper towel whatever and um, you will get very very good results And now let's start painting the hull. As you can see, I started painting it uh, half by half. I didn't glue both halves and painted it after. Why? First of all, because I did a dry uh, fit and it fitted perfectly. And after, because the intricacies, intricacies of this paintwork, um, I preferred painting it 
like this and later after joining the halves if I had something to put it on to sand uh, it would be easier to uh, mask and to paint on top of it uh, with the brush turns out the fit was pretty good and it did, didn't even need it putty on the, the joints so this time uh, working uh, on sections it paid off sometimes rules are for breaking uh, usually I, to I tell you first always in assemble the kit then paint the kit well this example here is not the best it was best for me to do it half by half for painting the copper uh, plated hull I used the K Extreme Metal uh, colors, the copper one, and it turned out beautifully.
As you can see, the dry fit uh, goes very well. So painting it by halves, it really paid off. Now let's paint and uh, detail a bit all these cannons which were a uh, pain in the butt. to remove all flash from the cannons, scrape some extra flash again from the cannons, paint the cannons, uh, brush paint the cannons and with a drill, 1.2 millimeter drill, uh, drilled a hole on the extremities of the cannon uh, in order to look a bit hollow and to detail it a bit. Just using a bit of panel line accent color black just to accentuate and give a bit, bit more of shadows to the, well, you guessed it, cannons. Here I'm just making sure that the cannons are aligned with the windows just a bit more in the middle of each it's not uh, mandatory that it's in the middle uh, as you know cannons were fitted by hand so but um, if they are in the middle of the, the window uh, of the hatch it's good
Now let's glue both halves with along with the cannon deck and the upper deck. As you can see the build is uh, progressing, it's going very well until now and uh, at this point I can tell you that I was really hooked on this ship. It's an old kit, a lot of flash, but it pays off to see all the work you put in uh, really really starting to show. And now it's time to start doing some detailing uh, painting, detail painting. This kit has a lot of um, small uh, details. Uh, all the hatches, cannon hatches were painted inside by scarlet red and outside the top with black. Um, the masts had to be all detailed and of course each, t each time I cut it a piece I had to um, cover that small cut mask uh, mark with the original paintwork also. I'm going to paint this uh, stern section with gold, with a golden color. I am using brown because um, brown is a very very good base color uh, for the gold color to pop up, okay? Uh, you can paint it white, you can paint it black, but the best color for gold to be shown is brown. I would like to take this opportunity to uh, say that this build stands for the group build um, led it by Ian, UK scale modeler, all at sea. Well, this is my humble, let's call it, entry to that group build. And I am sorry for the video being so big, uh, so long, but I just wanted to show you all 
the process, the build process, until a boat, a ship like this, is completed. Now I'm giving a wash to the hull with black panel liner. It's very simple to apply. Just wet the surface with a bit of AK uh, white spirit. Apply the panel liner, let it dry. 30 minutes after, just use a paper towel and it will cover all your uh, intentations, all details. It's very good. It's a very good wash, very fast and very subtle. And uh, I like it a lot. As you can see this ship has a lot, and I do mean a lot, of detailed painting. As you can see here, uh, this ship has still has a lot of small imperfections on the paintwork. Um, some of them are due to the fact that I was filming while painting and the position of the camera doesn't help so after making some shots some video shots I turned off the camera and dedicated myself to correcting some mistakes
now let's start to place to put the masts on and start uh, the process of uh, detailing the vertical part of the ship I took the decision at this point to after all this work on the deck to not use uh, the vac form sails so I used some thin cloth and uh, retracted the sails Now I'm putting the rat lines on. Uh, first of all, as I told you before, I never got to do rope uh, rat lines. And I received several messages telling me that I should bend a bit uh, the rat lines because they were rope. Uh, turns out that after I listened to all the advices, uh, I researched it and found out that actually rat lines are very tense, very straight, because they were ladders for the sailors to go up the masts. And of course, you cannot use uh, a ladder if it's bent. You can use it, but it's more dangerous. You can put your leg on the on the holes between the rope, so the rope is made to be tense. To be straight, so I had to uh, re to, to unglue the work I have done, and uh, thank God I didn't broke any piece and did it the right way. So next time I will be listening only to my research, even if it's wrong, I will learn with that lesson. And now we start with the rigging. Um, to be honest, I tried to put on this video uh, the most footage I could about rigging because uh, it's something that you guys sometimes have difficulties on. Uh, also, me also, so um, I'm not an expert as I told you. Uh, I used easy line, rope, cotton, uh, thread and a bit of melted styrene in some places with the same thickness that the rope or the easy line that I was using. Those small tips that you see when I cut with the scissor, uh, there are, there is a bit of a rope excess or a rigging excess. Let's call it. I after placing all the rigging, inspect again all the work and just recut it. All those small tips.
nail the flag. What I did was cut the flag and glue it with white glue on top of metal foil, kitchen metal foil. And uh, that way it allowed me to uh, mold and shape the flag like if it was touched by the wind. And after all this work, um, it's done. Uh, I would like to say it was a pleasure to work on this one. Learned a lot. I always keep learning. Um, Ian, it was a pleasure to take part on your group build, all at sea. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it, okay? Until the next video, keep modeling and always, always with a smile. Cheers, guys.